um, will your government commit to investing in these kind of youth models that are proven to work? Well, look, you can only judge somebody by their track record. And when we were in government, we provided funding to these programs. And as Holly rightly points out, the funding is necessary because there is a community need there for it. Uh, the great thing that we've done is uh, we've pre-selected uh, Brendan as our candidate here in Dobell. He has the ability and the desire, the burning desire, to work hard for his local community, to represent it ably, and he will be fighting for these local community groups and local causes otherwise that deserve funding and need funding. I, I just think, as the public has seen now on a number of occasions, the Prime Minister you know, it might be a nice enough bloke, but you can't take him at his word. And he promised electricity would go down by $275. Your prices have gone up. He, he promised that interest rates would go down and mortgages would be cheaper. Interest rates have gone up 12 times under this Prime Minister's watch. The average family is paying $24,000 a year after tax more in mortgage repayments under this government. And on the central coast here, families are really doing it tough. And I think they need a representative who's going to work hard for them, not be the Labor Party representative in the local community here that's beholden to what's happening in Canberra. They want a local champion. And Brendan has demonstrated that. He's a father, he's a small business owner, he's worked hard in his local community. He will be a great MP uh, and he will take up the fight on behalf of many organisations and I've no doubt about that. Another question on that. Yeah. Um, so the New South Wales government says the cost of keeping a young person in detention is $1 million a year. This hub, $500,000 a year helping thousands of people. Um, the local police on the Central Coast have said this is a vital service. As an ex-police officer yourself, you know, what are your thoughts on that kind of cost discrepancy when, when, we're, when they're helping kids out of jail? Look, I just think the local police are as frustrated as the victims of crime. The police take an oath to serve their community because they want to help people. And they see people in their hour of need. They're going to homes where homes have been broken into, people's possessions have been stolen, their cars have been stolen. It's incredibly confronting having somebody come into your own home, rummage through a bedside drawer while you're asleep or whilst your daughter is asleep in her bedroom. And the police want to do everything they can to keep the community safe, and yet Mr Albanese is making the police job that much harder by taking this funding away. We should be giving every support to local police and we should be listening to what they're saying. I, I believe very strongly that the police need every tool in their toolkit to address youth crime, to make sure that they can reduce uh, the impact of crime in local communities. And why the Prime Minister would be taking this money away, I don't know. I mean, it just shows that he's completely out of touch with the local community and we'll be fighting hard for the people of Dobell because I just believe that people want to know that there is a better option and there is a better option than what Mr Albanese is providing at the moment uh, and we'll have a lot more to say about that between now and the next election.